Despite those concerns, there has been tremendous demand for the free tickets to Saturday's event at Tulsa's BOK Center. ONR's Jason Doyle reports on what party leaders and MAGA supporters are doing to get ready. How many Trump rallies for you? This will be my 21st. Mm. How about you? This will be my 10th. While they sound like big fans of a rock band, these gentlemen are actually experienced Trump rally attendees. It gets better every time. Nothing like a Trump rally. Nothing like a Trump rally. The line to get inside the BOK Center on Saturday began forming early this week. Daryl Henry is one of those ardent supporters. We have a land of a home of the free and a home of the brave. What we know is that we don't get the freedom unless we're brave. So I'm passionate about being brave. This is a display of bravery here. Henry hasn't decided if he'll wear a mask during the rally, and neither has the governor of Oklahoma. Uh, as far as wearing a mask, I, I haven't decided whether I'll wear a mask. Uh, uh, I'll be introducing the president on Saturday, so I'll, I won't have a mask on at that point, but whether I have one in the seat, I, I haven't decided yet. The demand is certainly there for this appearance by the 45th president trying to win a second term. Governor Stitt says he's aware of the risks being in a large crowd, and he believes Oklahomans can make up their own minds whether they should go to the rally or not. We're a free society, and, and uh, you're free to stay home, and I want people to protect their family. If they don't want to go to the rally, they shouldn't. Uh, there's over a million requests right now uh, to go to the rally. It's uh, really unprecedented how many folks have, have requested tickets. So there's a lot of folks that uh, want to be there, want to support uh, want to support the president. But, of course, you need to make the best decision for your family. I don't know how many people from out of state that are purposing to come in, but this is definitely a national uh, type of event. Oklahoma Republican Party Chairman David McLean expects protests at the rally, but doesn't believe they will turn violent. I don't think anybody has that expectation, but we always have opposition protests at every rally. That, whether it's a Democrat rally or a Republican rally, there's always opposition protests, and protesters are more than welcome. Peaceful protesters are more than welcome. A sentiment shared by these Trump supporters. Okay, but we won't be bullied out of our constitutional rights, okay, to assemble peacefully. And so, yeah, we welcome, we welcome the protests uh, as long as they're nonviolent. The price of freedom, there's a price. And, you know, you have to go get that freedom. You have to earn that freedom. That's why we support Trump, and that's why we're here. And we are going to keep on winning, winning, winning. This is Delmer Phillips' first time attending a Trump rally. I feel it's really important to be out and show our support for Trump. Him and his family have sacrificed so much for our, for our country. Another supporter hoping to attend this weekend's rally is Oklahoma County Clerk David Hooten. I think it's a tremendous uh, opportunity for people to to um, support the president and also the vice president will be there. So for any state, that's really a wonderful thing. Whether you like the, the president or not, the office of the president holds uh, a lot of respect, a lot of dignity and honor. Putin met with President Trump before he occupied the White House and says he really enjoyed the experience. Um, I had done the national anthem for the New York Yankees Mm -hmm. uh, and um, President Trump, he wasn't president at the time, came up and introduced himself to me and so it was very nice. He expects Trump's message will be positive. I think the president is uh, a very intelligent man and he will say anything he needs to appropriately, but I, I think that all of us feel like we're all in this together and that um, there'll be much better days ahead. The state GOP party chair agrees. I believe it's going to be an edifying message. I believe it's going to be a unifying message to the to the state and to the nation. Right now, we're at a place where a, a unification message it will be an extremely strong message. When asked why, President Trump chose Oklahoma as his first stop since the COVID-19 pandemic shut much of the country down. Well, because he loves Oklahoma, number one. Number two, he understands that the people of Oklahoma have been locked up since March and that our state is open for business. During his first campaign, Trump visited Oklahoma four times for rallies and a fundraiser. Jason Doyle, The Oklahoma News Report.